yes good morning dear students in the last class we were discussing arithmetic progression problems now in this session we shall continue the problems on the concept of arithmetic progression problem okay next problem find the sum to any number find the sum to any number of a whose k the term is Find the sum to any number of a b whose k the term is five k plus one. Here yeah, we need to find sum of n terms of a b, right? That is yes sir. Yes, sir. sum is here is sum of a b. We are going to find to find a yes, sum. Here yeah, it is given that k the term of a b is given five k plus one. So first. So for the question, it is given that k the term written as e k, the nth term written as e n, like that k the term of e p, the nth term written as e n, like that k the term written as e p. A k is given this by k plus one. Okay, by k plus one. Well, now using this k term, we have to find some p n terms. So some p n terms means s n, right? Some p n terms means s n. So to find S N, first we need to find first term of A B and a difference, common difference of A B. So first term of A B is calculated. Yeah, K the term is known. Now substitute, find out first term and common difference of arithmetic progression. So first term is let us substitute N is equal K is equal to one. So we get here A K becomes A B. Three plus one. Three plus three by one. Five into one plus one is five plus one six. Five plus one six plus one. So next is let's substitute k is equal to two. So we get a k becomes a two. That is equal to five into two plus one. So five into two ten plus one. That is equal to nine. Yeah, we got to know the first term and the difference. The yeah, first term a is so. The yeah, a is or a a got to be equal to six and the difference. And the difference of a b is b is equal to a two minus a. Right? Difference in a b is calculated by a two minus a one. So eleven a two is eleven minus six a one is six. A two is nine. A one is six. A two minus A one becomes five. Eleven minus six. That is equal to five. Eleven minus five. Six. That is equal to five. Now, first term and difference known. Oh, to find some two n terms of A B. We know that some two n terms of A B is given by S N is equal to n upon two into. 2a plus of n minus 1 into d. Substitute a and d. Now s n becomes s n becomes n upon 2. 2a is 2 into a. A is 6 plus n minus 1. D is 5. Simplify this. Sum to n plus two plus n upon 2 into 12. Plus five n minus five multiplied by five n minus five. What is equal to n upon two into I have double minus five and five n is there. Now I am going to write five n plus five. Next is double minus five that becomes seven plus seven plus seven. So this is why the end term is. n upon two into five n plus seven required n term required n term is n upon two into five n plus seven five n plus required 
is the term of a b is see here it is given k term is given using that k term first find out root term of a b first term and second term first term we can replace k by 1 we get first term and we got 6 and replace k by 2 we get second term that is 7 now difference of a b is a2 minus a1 and first term is 6 difference become 5 substitute here we get n term of a b is n upon 2 into 5 and plus 7 have you understood this ok let's move towards second problem ok take the next problem If the sum of n terms of a b is p n plus q n square, where p q are constant here, find the common difference. Okay, using this sum, we are going to find common difference of p. To find common difference, so we need to consider the given terms. What is sum of this? Now here it is given that solution. It is given that. What is given? Sum of n terms of a b is given. Sum of n terms means you know that s n. Sum is given that is S n is P n plus Q n square. P n plus Q n square. You know how to find n term or general term of a p by using sum of a p. See here general term of a p. Now we know that general term of a p is calculated by a n is equal to S n minus S n minus 1. That's it. Now replace n by n minus 1 will get s n minus 1. See s n is given so to here s n is p n plus q n square. So minus of here s n minus 1 is here replace n by n minus 1. That's it. Replace n by n minus 1. So p of n minus 1 plus q of n minus 1 n square. The simply for this field in general term is a n is equal to p n plus q n square minus p n minus minus that becomes plus p so minus q of n minus 1 whole square. See here plus p n minus p n is the cancel of that. Plus p n minus n. So now a n term general term becomes q n square plus p minus q of n minus 1 whole square general term becomes this one general term see here we have to find a difference common difference of a b to find difference at least we have two terms right find out first term and second term see here general term is how so to find first term replace n by 1 that's it let us substitute that n is equal to 1. So we get a n becomes a 1. a 1 is equal to a q into 1 square that is q plus p minus 
Q of 1 minus 1 by Q of 0. A1 is equal to Q plus A. Got it? A1 is Q plus Q. Now, when you substitute A is equal to 2, that A is equal to 2 VH. A2 becomes C replace L by 2 here Q into 2 square that is 4P 2 square means 4 4Q plus C minus Q into 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 becomes 1 so 4Q minus Q 4Q minus Q 3Q plus it is A2 becomes See here automatically how to find common difference. We know that now common difference of it e. Common difference means D e is equal to difference of first terms that is A2 minus A. A2 is 3Q plus C is here. So minus A1 is Q plus A. Now it becomes here 3Q plus B minus Q. 3u plus a minus q minus a. Yes, the term comes and then the becomes 2u. Yes, the equal difference is 2u. Then what? Common difference is is is. So the equal common difference is. Yes, have you understood this? So here, yeah, sum of n terms is given. Using the sum, we just have to find general term. A n, n the term. N term is calculated by using this form. This is form. A n is equal to S n minus S n minus 1. Now, substitute here, you get general term is Q n square plus P minus of Q n minus 1 whole square. Now, replace n by 1. We get first term. Replace n by 2. We get second term. Now, your difference is that is a uh, uh, difference for first two terms a2 minus a1. Common difference becomes a2 minus a1 that is equal to 2t. Okay. okay, next. The ratio of the sums of M and the N terms of N is next. The ratio of the sums of next problem. The ratio of the sums of M and N terms. M and N terms. Of A is M square is to A square. The ratio of the sums of M and N terms of A is M square is to A square. Show that the ratio of the Show that the ratio of the young term is 2m minus 1 
is to two n minus one. Yes, yeah. It is given the ratio of the sums of m and n terms. So now it is given that the ratio of the sums of m and n terms means s m upon s m. That is equal to m square upon n square. It is the ratio of the sums of m and n terms of n means s m is to s m written as s m upon s m. That is equal to m square is to n square written as m square upon n square. Okay. Now by using this data, we have to find. We have to do. We have to do that. Ratio of the sums of m and n term means a m is to a m written as a m upon a m. That is equal to two m minus one. On two n minus n. Using this data, we have to prove this. Okay, to prove this, first, the ratio of n is written as ratio means you know that ratio is sum of n terms of n. Ratio written as n upon two into two a plus of n minus one into d. Similarly, the ratio is there. Replace n by n, you will get m upon 2 into 2a plus of m minus 1 into d. That is equal to m square upon n square. m square upon n square. See, in the numerator, 1 by 2 is the denominator also 1 by 2 is the left side. 1 by 2, 1 by 2, cancel out. And I here m is there, on shifting this n to right side, it will go to denominator, right? The denominator term and this term cancel out. Similarly, now on shifting this n to right side, it will go to numerator, right? This n and n square. On term n cancel out. Remaining is, what is here? 2a plus of m minus 1 into d. 2a plus of m minus 1 into d. Upon 2a plus of n minus 1 into d that is equal to m upon n. We understood this. Here m n cancel out, n n cancel out. Remaining is 2a plus of n minus 1 into d upon 2a plus of n minus 1 into d that is equal to m upon n. Now, a simple class multiplication. So, we will get class multiplication n into this term, n of 2a plus m minus 1 into d. That is equal to 2a plus m of 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. 2a plus n minus 1. Simplify this, we will get. So, on simplification, if we come 2a and multiply n to this term, we will get 2a n. 2a n plus n m minus 1 into d. Similarly, now 2a n plus m of n minus 1 into d. Hope you understand this. Okay. Now, grouping the terms, 2a terms, like terms here, grouping 2a terms. Okay. And grouping like terms. Take it outside and taking 2a as common data. 
So I'm taking two years and two year of n minus one. Two year of n minus one that is equal to here also d is common. I'm taking both sides. So m of n minus one or multiplying this one will get you m n minus n. So minus m n minus minus plus n. Yeah. Okay. See so here plus m n is there, minus m n is there. It turns out plus m n minus. Now it becomes. Now it becomes two a of n minus n that is equal to d of imagine terms is plus n minus n. Now again d becomes c. Keep the c right side is c. Shift this from n minus n to left side, it will be equals to d on minus n. 2 a of n minus n upon n minus n minus n, n minus n cancel out and c becomes 2 a. This c becomes 2 a. Now d is known. Using this d, we out of flow that ratio of m and n the term of a d is 2 a minus n is to 2 a minus n. So now we have to prove that we have to prove that AM upon AM this AM is to AM written as AM upon AM. AM means young to term of AP. AM means young to term of AP. Here young to term of AP written as A plus of N minus 1 into D. Like that here, m to term written as a plus of m minus 1 into d. See, d is known substituting. Now, on substituting d is 2a. So, am upon am that becomes a plus m minus 1 into 2a. d is 2a. d plus d by 2a. Here also, a plus of m minus 1 into 2 Now, simplify this to get that becomes a plus there are 2a m multiplying m minus 1 by 2a we get 2a m minus 2a similarly here that we have a plus 2a n minus 2a see so here a minus 2a it becomes minus a here also a minus 2a becomes minus a and 2a m is there 2am minus n. The denominator that is also 2am minus n. Now a is common, take it outside. I am taking a outside here. Numerator terms are 2m minus 1. The denominator also 2m minus a times out. That is common in numerator and denominator. So that becomes 2m minus 1. Upon 2n minus 1. That is the required term. Therefore, required ratio of m and n terms or required ratio is 2. Two. 2n two minus 1 is 2n minus 1. Hope you understood this. Okay, we understood. Next problem. Next, if the sum of n terms of n is n 
Sessão 9. E aí, Carlos? Ó, a letra é isso. Three and square. Plus five. Arbis, young pedones. Arbis, young pedones. Under and sixty four. And find the right walk. Find the right walk. The sum of the n terms of the name is 3n squared plus 5n and its sum of the term is 164. Then we can find the value of the n. So now, first, here it is given that Sn is 3n squared plus 5n. And also given that m term of the name is the n. It is 164. So find out how to find the value of m. See first to find that, first we need to find first term and difference, that's it. To find first term, we know that general term of a is, a n is, s n minus s n minus, what is equal to a n becomes, s n is 3 n square plus 5 n minus half. S n minus 1, 3 plus n by n minus 1, 3 n minus 1, first, plus 5 into n minus 1. Simplify this, see, we will get 3 n square plus 5 n minus 3 of n minus 1, first, so minus 5 n minus 9 n becomes plus 5 n. Plus or minus y or n minus y. Okay, both are same. Both are same. Now, first two terms, let n is equal to 1. So we get a1 that is equal to 3 into 1 square plus 5 into 1 minus here 3 into 1 minus 1 becomes 0. 3 into 0. So minus 5 plus 5. 5 into 1 minus 5 plus 5 minus 5 plus 5 times that see a1 becomes 3 plus 5 that is 8 a1 is 8 that is first term next similarly let a is equal to 2 second term becomes a n becomes a2 a2 that is equal to a2 3 into n square 3 into 2 square n square means 2 square that is 4 4, 3, 12, plus 10, minus 3, 2 minus 1, that is 1, 3 into 1 square, 3, minus 10, plus 5, again same here, plus 10, minus 10, cancel out, or 5 plus 3, 5, minus 3, that is 2, 5 minus 3, 2, First term is 8, second term is 14. Now difference becomes what? What is the difference here? Now find out difference. Uh, B becomes B is equal to A2 minus A1. A2 is 14 minus A1 is 8. 14 minus A3 is 6. 6, right? Have you understood this? A1 is 8, A2 is 14. The difference becomes A2 minus A, 14 minus A. 14 minus A is 6. Now, we have to find value of M. To find M, we have to know that AM is. Consider that term. Consider AM is 164. As you know that AM, general term or nth term of AP is A plus of N minus 1. Into like that. A one can be written as A plus of M minus 1 into this. That is equal to 164. Here A is known, first term, and difference is known. So, to here, we will get A is, A is what? A is plus of 
m minus 1 into d d is your 6 is equal to 164 now m minus 1 of 6 equals 162 minus 8 I'm shifting this plus 8 to right side it will be 8 minus 8 right what is equal to 156 164 minus 8 that becomes 156 now when m minus 1 of 6 that is equal to shift this 6 to right side 156 upon 6 say 6 1 6 to the 12 3 36 6 6 36 now m minus 1 is equal to 26 m now again shift minus 1 to right side it will be 8 plus 1 that is equal to 27 required value of m is 27 required value of m is A record value of m is 27. Okay, you understood this. Okay, we understand. See here, generally, some of the terms is given. Use the part of general term. General term is calculated by this formula. Substitute here, yes, yes, and yes, and minus 1. You will get general term is this one. 3n square plus 5 n minus 3 of n minus 1 more square minus 5 n plus 1. Find out first term. Replace n by 1. You get first term. Replace n by 2. You get second term. Substitute here. That given the m term of u, we will get the equal value is 27. That's it. Okay, next. Okay, next. So, arithmetic numbers. Next is arithmetic number. See arithmetic mean of a means here it is given the a and b are two positive integers given a and b. Or any two positive integers, keep in your mind that positive numbers A and B are, or any two positive integers. See, we can insert a number A, we can insert one more number between them so that the resulting sequence represents a putting progression. So that so we can insert we can insert a number here so here is one more number another number between the given numbers we can insert a number here between them that means given numbers such that such that here yeah, the sequence becomes here a and b of the even numbers see now we are going to insert a number one more number another number in the given numbers like this a a b such that like this such that a a b represents arithmetic progression represents arithmetic progression such a number a is known as arithmetic mean of two positive integers. 
So such a number here. Yeah, e is called your arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean. See so here, here we are any two given integers, that is positive integers. Positive numbers, e we are positive numbers, e we are numbers. It can be certain number. A, another number A between them such that A, A, B represents arithmetic progression. Now, such a number A is known as arithmetic belong to positive integers. See now, what is the definition of A? You know that definition of arithmetic progression is a sequence of numbers, arrangement of numbers such that the difference between two terms is same. Since difference between two terms written as A2 minus A1. That is same and is equal to a3 minus a5. a3 minus a2. This is the definition of a2. So a2 means by definition of a2, sequence of numbers with difference between two consecutive terms is written as like this. See here a1 and a2 is progression is here. a1 means a, a2 means first letter a, and a3 is b. A2 minus A1 written as A minus A, that is A minus A, that is equal to A3 minus A1 written as B minus A, B minus A, B minus A. Now by definition of A, according to definition of arithmetic A minus A, that is B minus A. Now moving down A. Now, on shifting this right side into left side, so we get a plus a minus a in the shifting the left side, so we get plus a, that is equal to now we have minus a in the right. Now, on shifting minus a to right side, so we get plus a plus a. Now, we have a plus a that is 2a, 2a so that is equal to a plus b, a plus b. Again, Shift this to the right side. A becomes A plus B upon A plus B upon B. Here we, we know that A means arithmetic mean of A and B. Arithmetic mean of A and B. Hence, arithmetic mean of two numbers is given by A plus upon A plus B upon B. Arithmetic mean of A and B. Keep in your mind that arithmetic mean of two positive numbers is given by a plus b upon a, a plus b upon b. Okay, I think hope you understand this. Okay, next one, based on this concept, let us take a few more examples to understand arithmetic mean of a b. Okay, first of all. Okay, inside six numbers between three and twenty-four. Inside, inside, inside six numbers between three and twenty-four. Such that resulting sequence. Now, 
we have to insert six numbers between the given numbers, right? Between two given numbers of three and twenty-four. So let the six numbers be. Now I am going to consider six numbers of a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six, right? Let a one, a two, a three, a four, a five. Is this? Is that even the six numbers? A one, A two, A three, A four, A five, and B six B. The six numbers. So that here yeah, we can insert the number, given numbers. Now inserting the given numbers. A B becomes three and twenty four given numbers. Between these two numbers, so insert. The number six numbers A one, A two, A three, A four, A five, A six. Okay. Now you know that this sequence represents arithmetic progression. According to question, it is given that this sequence represents arithmetic progression. See here, our first term is three. A is three. A difference is not known. The second term is one. A one is there. We have to find out that term. Next number of terms is how many number of terms are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight number of terms. There is eight. And last term or general term is twenty-four. Using this, find out what is the common difference of this arithmetic progression. So the common difference of arithmetic progression is given. We know that how to find common difference. We know that general term defined as a plus of n minus one into d. Here a n is given. What is a n? Twenty four. Twenty four. That is equal to a n. A plus of a n is a three plus of n minus one into d. n is eight number of terms is eight eight right? minus one becomes seven seven into d now twenty four and shifting is seven three to left side twenty four three becomes minus three that is equal to seven twenty four minus three twenty one is equal to twenty right now d becomes twenty one upon seven Is three. As is three. Sir, B is three, A is three. Find out the numbers. Six numbers. Four to five, six numbers here. According to A, according to A, here first term is A, and second term is A plus B. Third term is A plus two. Next is A plus three. And a plus forty, a plus thirty, a plus six. Find out. Now, the required six numbers becomes a one is equal to a plus b. A plus b is three plus three. A b is three, b is three. Three plus three becomes six. Now a b that is equal a plus two. A is three. Plus two into d is three plus three to the six. Two to the six. That is equal to nine. Now third one. A three that is equal to a plus three into d. A is three plus three into three. Three plus three to the nine. Three plus nine. Twelve. Like that. Next fourth one. Fourth number is a four is a plus four into b. A is three plus four into b is three. Three plus one. That is equal to fifteen. And this next number is fifth number is a five is equal to a plus five into b is equal to a is three plus five into b is three. Three plus fifteen. Yes. Next number, last number is a six. A six that is equal to 
a plus 6d. A is a 3 plus 6d is 3. 3 plus d is equal to 21. Okay. Hence, I require 6 numbers of 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. Required numbers. Required 6 numbers. Numbers are 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and 21. Hope you understand this. Okay. Next. Take down on top of the moon like this. Next one more problem. Insert five numbers between eight and twenty six. Insert five numbers between eight and twenty six. Such that resulting sequence is an EP. Arithmetic progression. Don't use it. We also say first we have to. Take required numbers of A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5 in the five numbers. Now, we have to insert these numbers between 8 and 26. This 5, A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5 represent actually progression. Here A is 8, first term, and the number of terms is 7. Find out D. How to find D? Yeah? Using last term, find out D. And next five, five numbers a1, a2, a3. a1 means a plus d, a2 means a plus 2d, a3 means a plus 3d, a4 means a plus 5d, and a5 means a plus 5d. That's it. Okay.